Hello, Cumberland. Today, we are going to talk about how to access code.org using your Clever portal. What you see on the screen here is called coding. You might have seen it in a movie or television. But what are all these letters and numbers? What is coding? Well, coding is simply a way to give instructions to a computer to do a specific task. So it's giving instructions to a computer. Why should you want to start coding? There are many reasons to give coding a shot. First of all, the computers and phones that you might use, the video games you play, or even the places like Google where you find information are all run on code. You could help make these types of things when you grow up if you know how to code. Also, it's just really fun. Today, I'm going to show you how to get onto code.org, which has you programming fun games and other activities using code. In this video, I will show you how to get onto code.org through Clever. Then I will show you how to start an hour of code. Let's get started. If you're working on a Windows computer, you can go to any browser. I will use Google Chrome. Then you're going to be going to clever.com slash in slash MNPS. This will help you get to Cumberland's Clever page quicker. All right, this will probably look familiar to you guys who have used Clever before. But today, without our Clever badges, we are going to log in with Office 365. All right, so I'm going to log in as a student to show you what it will look like. So you can ask for your um, login information from your classroom teacher, or you can email me at john.goddard at mnps.org. All right, I'm going to log in as this student. And hit sign in. And you can either press yes if you want this to keep you signed in on this computer or no. All right, once I'm in the clever portal, you can scroll down to coding and steam and then click code.org it is black and teal all right once you're in code.org you can go up to the course catalog and scroll down to find the area that says hour of code one hour of code that I think you would enjoy is Flappy Code. This is a good one to start with. You can actually finish it in 10 minutes or less. When you start any hour of code, they will give you an introductory video. Make sure to watch these videos carefully. They introduce all of the important concepts that you'll need when you do this course. But don't just stop at Flappy Bird. There is lots of other cool Hour of Code activities that you can do. You can go back to code.org homepage, course catalog, and finally, view more Hours of Code tutorials. There's many different code tutorials that you can try. Have fun and happy coding.